Thank you, Madam President. Madam President and Senate colleagues, Senate File 1 is about supporting Iowa businesses who want to get a fair shake at state contracts. As of yesterday, the Department of Administrative Services webpage showed that there were 64 active RFPs for things such as lawn maintenance, nutritional milkshakes, recyclable collections, janitorial services, training rifles, cell phone lockers, air quality monitoring equipment, phone equipment, software, cattle and swine tags, and a maternity habit survey for the northern long-eared bat. But it also showed that RFPs had been awarded uh, to many Iowa companies They've received bids, but these are the some 600 plus items listed where the RFP was awarded to out-of-state businesses. Couldn't Iowa business deliver these products? Five pound containers of spices for Woodward from California, bagged salt pellets from Illinois, auto parts from Virginia and Georgia, an aluminum boat with a trailer from Savannah, Illinois, Ammunition for state agencies from South Dakota, arts and crafts supplies from Connecticut, athletic clothing, sweatshirts and sweatpants and shorts from North Carolina, beverage drink concentrate from California, bottled water from Arkansas, bread, a lot of bread from Pennsylvania, cooked cereal, remember Iowa is the home of Quaker Oats, from California, and my personal favorite, Iowa flags from University Park, Florida. Iowa flags from University Park, Florida. Okay, already in code, under the purchasing section, it states preference shall be given to purchasing Iowa products and purchases from Iowa-based businesses if the Iowa-based business bids submitted are comparable in price to bids submitted by out-of-state businesses. That's already in the code. We're not disputing that. That's in the code. There's a preference law. But the current code doesn't define what's comparable. Senate File 1 does. It isolates what is comparable in price and creates a bidding process that will urge out-of-state bidders, or excuse me, out-of-state bidders to save the taxpayers money and support Iowa businesses that employ Iowans, pay taxes, and contribute to our communities. So number one, under this bill, an Iowa company can match the low bid if it comes within 5% or $10,000 of the low out-of-state bid. And number two, under this bill, it also asks the Iowa company to show in the RFP that the Iowa business paid taxes. That's it. It's just very simple. Many surrounding states, South Dakota, Illinois, Missouri, Minnesota, and Wisconsin, have preference law. 